Hello everyone. In this video, let us see how to convert an SOP equation to canonical form. What is canonical form? A Boolean expression, or we call it as a switching equation or logical expression, in which each term of the expression should contain all available variables. Suppose if the expression will be of this kind, f of a comma b is equal to a plus a bar b. In this expression, if you see, this is one term and this is the other term, but in this term we will be not finding b. In this term we will be having both a and b. This kind of expression will be called as non-canonical form expression. So we need to convert this kind of expressions into canonical form expressions. So canonical form will be having its own advantages in the digital circuit design. So before going to that conversion, first we need to understand there are two types of Boolean expressions or logical expressions. One is SOP, we call it as sum of product or we call it as sum of min terms. So for example here, a into b plus a bar b. This will be called as sum of products. Why? Because there are two terms here, a into b and a bar b. These two are the products and we are taking sum of those two. So if this is the kind of expression we have, we call it as sum of different products. This is first product, this is second product. So we are taking sum of these. So these products are called as min terms or we call it as product terms. This is one kind of Boolean expression. We have another kind of expression called as POS or we call it as product of sum or product of max terms. Here, if you take this as example, a plus b into c plus d. Here we are taking a product of two sums. This is one sum term, this is another sum term. Here we are taking a product of these. So these sum terms are called as max terms and also we can call it as sum terms where product of these sums are called as product of sum expression. Similarly, this kind of expression will be called as sum of product. So in this video, I am going to discuss how to convert this sum of product form of expression which is non-canonical form to a canonical form. So here I am taking a first example as an SOP which is of f of a comma b equal to a plus b. This is an sum of products. How can I say it is sum of product means a is having product with 1 plus b into 1. I can write this as a into 1 plus b into 1. So here a and b are the two variables but here in the SOP here with a b is missing and in this b a is missing. So to add that to make it as a canonical expression we need to multiply this with b plus b bar. Why because as we know b plus b bar gives 1 as result. So if we multiply this term with 1 again it gives same term. So this will not make any difference. So we need to multiply the missing term by taking b plus b bar with this plus the second term is b here a is missing. So I am going to multiply with a plus a bar. Now do the multiplication it gives a b plus a into b bar a into b bar plus b into a plus b into a bar. Here we can write it as a b plus a into b bar plus let me write it as a b a first b next. Similarly it becomes a bar b. Here you can see repeated term is there a b plus a b. So here we can write 1 a b out of those two plus a b bar plus a bar b. Now this non-canonical form of expression is converted into a canonical form of expression. So this will be a SOP which is of function a comma b which is in the form of canonical form now. This is how we can convert a non-canonical form expression to canonical form. So let us take one more example f of 
a comma b comma c let me take three variables it has a plus b c now this is a non canonical a non canonical sum of product expression so we need to convert this to canonical form so what i need to do with this a b and c are missing so a into b plus b bar into c plus c bar plus in the second term we have bc where a is missing so i need to multiply with a plus a bar so as we know b plus b bar will be not making any difference so it is 1 similarly c plus c bar will not be making any difference it is 1 so a plus a bar will be will be not making any difference to the logic it is 1 so multiplying each term which is missing with b plus b bar c plus c bar or a plus a bar like this will be giving the same result a plus b c so okay let us multiply this now it gives a b into c plus a b into c bar plus a b bar into c plus a b bar into c bar plus now let us let me multiply this a b c plus a bar b c this is what the expression i got so we need to check here any multiple terms with the same variables here a b c is there a b c is there so i am going to write it as a b c once plus a b c bar there is no a b c bar one more time so let me write as it is so a b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a bar b c now this is the canonical form of a b c function right so now the one more thing here we need to observe is that we can represent these min terms by using a summation okay or min term expression we say so how to write that here the true terms and complementary terms i say true term in the sense if it is a i am taking it as 1 if it is a bar or b bar or c bar i am taking it as 0 here a b c is 1 1 1 here it is 1 1 c bar means it is 0 i am just taking wherever it is a b c like that it is 1 if it is bar i am taking it as 0 it is 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 now these are the min terms so i am going to represent this a decoded value into decimal i am going to write it in decimal so it is with min term with the code 7 i am calling it as m7 so this is 4 plus to 6 means it is m6 here it is 4 plus 1 5 it is m5 so here it is 4 means m4 this is 2 plus 1 3 this is m3 so this f of a comma b comma c asop will be represented with a summation of min terms here in the bracket i am going to write it as 76543 is there so let me write in a ascending order 34567 so this is how we can write an sop in an summation form and this is a canonical form canonical form of sop and this is a min term form so this is how we can convert a non canonical form expression to canonical form so let me take one more example which will be consisting of complement so here let me write it as f of a b c this is comma is equal to a b bar plus a c bar plus b c now this is the expression we have now we need to convert this into canonical form why because in this term we will be not having c in this term b is missing in this term a is missing so first what is the first step we need to take a b bar as it is and i am going to multiply c plus c bar plus a c bar is as it is i am going to multiply with 
b plus b bar similarly plus b c and i am going to multiply with a plus a bar and let us multiply this it is a b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a b c bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c so now here we need to find find out any repeated term is there so a b bar c so there is no a b bar c a b bar c bar here a b bar c bar is there a b bar c bar is there so we need to write once so a b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a b c bar plus a b c plus a bar b c now this is the canonical expression for the function f of a comma b comma c now you can decode this you will be getting f of a comma b comma c is summation of 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the mean term expression for the canonical form of three terms sop so in the next video let us see the conversion of pos that is product of some expression from non canonical form to canonical form thank you